Right. The first thing we need to do is to log into the eBusiness Suite application. And uh, we need to find some information about the page that we need to run. Okay. Now the page we need to run belongs to I Expenses. So this is the I Expenses responsibility. I'm going to click on I Expenses responsibility. And uh, once that page opens, I will try to capture a few bits of information. Okay. The first thing I need to capture is the username which is operations password I know the password that's fine uh, I need to know the responsibility short key or responsibility key for I expense responsibility okay and I need to know the application short name right and then I need to know the function name slash page name and any optional parameters right if we have all these details then we should be able to run the page the run the I expenses page and get it open okay so let's wait for the page to load first right so this is a page uh, which has been run from the application let's scroll down click on about this page and uh, let's make a note of few things the name of the function function name is well function name equals this right the name of the actual page being run is this and if we click on the page context I can see that the responsibility is this and the application short name is SQL AP right so I've got all the information now and I can go ahead and create the project but before I create the project I would need something for my classes and for my projects. In my classes I would like to have the runtime classes in my projects I would like to have the pages. Okay. So what I need to do is to go to Putty AR1211. So the first thing I do is to go to dollar Java top slash article slash apps. Okay. And I will Create a tar pipe tar minus cbf ap underscore java dot tar ap underscore java dot tar dot slash ap slash tar. I don't need the verification, so so that's how I create my tar file. Okay. So if I check, I've got the tar file here, and let's FTP that tar file. to my classes so this is my classes and within my classes I have Oracle apps okay so I go in here I download the jar file once the jar file ha uh, once the sorry the tar file has been downloaded I can go to Windows Explorer and in the Windows Explorer, I can go and unzip this, right click and extract here. This should create a directory called AP, which means effectively this is equivalent to $java top slash oracle slash apps slash AP on the server side. Uh, and that's going into the JDAP user home, my classes, oracle apps, AP. Right? Here it is, the AP directory is getting created. Once that has been done, Let's also bring the pages, which is in dollar AP underscore top. Okay, from AP underscore top, we need to go. Uh, we'll find a directory called MDS. So let's create a zip of that as well. Tar minus CF AP underscore MDS dot tar dot slash MDS. 
this creates a dot file for the pages right so I copy this directory and I go into here and this one I need to bring into my projects slash oracle slash apps okay so I right click and download once this has been downloaded I will right click extract here so what I'm doing here is I'm bringing the pages the page definitions from the server onto onto the desktop right and that's created a directory called MDS I know it should be renamed and it will be renamed to AB okay so if I just go into that I should be able to see all my pages in accounts table okay so I've got my Java files and also the XML files for the pages now the next thing for me to do is to create a workspace and a project so I'm going to say new OA workspace and I'll call it run from xx run from jdev okay click on next and I'll create a project which is xx I expenses oracle dot apps dot ap you can give any default package here right my dbc file is going to be in the dbc folder which is dbc files this my username is operations and my application short name is Sorry, the application's short name is SQL AP. And I have some parameters. I need to find some parameters which I need to pass, the default parameters that must be passed. What I can do is I can execute a query for this function. This is the name of the function I found out, right? So this function I can. I can find the definition of this function from SQL first. So this is my SQL connection. Select star from appendee from functions where function underscore name equals this. And what I can do is I can use this information to find the default parameters I must pass. Okay. So my default parameters are going to be these are my default parameters being passed to the page. Okay, so I can go back to JDeveloper and I can copy paste the default parameters here and click on finish. So this has created a project for me. So I can because I need to run a specific page, I can uh, go to the project properties and in the project properties I can go to project contents and set myself to the specific so this is my project content I can click on add oracle apps ap I need to oie web ui home pg right I select that and now I should be able to run the page I right click and I run the page. Okay, when I run the page, I get an error message, and uh, the error message is not clear. Okay, this is my.